Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyce and Grove, and today we're going to take a quick look at Porter Cable's 18 gauge cordless nailer. Let's get into it. I purchased Porter Cable's cordless nailer about a year ago after having used Ryobi's Airstrike series for quite a few years. I was looking for a nailer that had really good quality but wasn't going to break the bank and that's what brought me to this Porter Cable right here. Let's start by talking about some of the cons to this air nailer. One of the first things that I noticed that even though the design is pretty streamlined and has this area right here that juts out. I'm right handed so when I need to get close to baseboards or in a corner it really doesn't affect me that much but I can imagine that if you're left handed this might actually be an issue. One of the biggest cons that I found with this air nailer is that there is no battery power indicator on either the air nailer or on the batteries. I did try to search for Porter Cable batteries that had an indicator on them. I couldn't find any. If you know any please leave them in the comments below it would really help me out. But as far as I'm concerned Almost every tool nowadays offers a power indicator on either the battery or the tool, so it seems like it should be pretty status quo. I don't really know why Porter Cable would leave it off. Another con I found with this air nailer is the battery charger that they sent me with this tool. To me, this is more like a phone charger. It's really lightweight, kind of flimsy, and has a really thin cord. Almost every other tool that I've purchased from other companies comes with a standard little stand that you can plug in and put your batteries on with a much more substantial cord on it. Now Porter Cable does offer that type of battery charger, but you have to order it separately for extra money. I'm not really sure why they just wouldn't include it as most other companies do. Now for the pros, let's go over some of the upsides to this nailer. Despite this large side profile, it's actually pretty narrow and you can get into tight spots with no problem. As far as fixing a jam or something like that, it just has this simple hand lever right here that you can pull up and release a nail that might get jammed or stuck in there and put it back. No need for any tools. It goes really quick and easy. One of the features I like about this gun is that if it does run into a jam or something like that, it actually has a safety lock on it so that it will not fire anymore until you fixed it. So once you fix your jam, you just pull up on the safety lock and it releases it and it's back in action. I also like this safety feature that it has on the handle where you can turn it on and off so that you don't accidentally fire the nailer. Another great feature to this gun is Porter Cable's light small size batteries. These 20 volts are comparable to the DeWalt sizes. They're extremely light and they charge really fast. As far as price goes, I think you're getting your biggest bang for your buck with this nailer. It is really reasonably priced, but the quality is really great for what you get. I have to say overall, despite the few flaws that I found, this nailer is great. I really enjoy using it. It's nice and lightweight and it works extremely well. If you're in the market for a cordless nailer, I highly suggest this Porter Cable. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just giving you my honest opinion about this tool. And as of the time of this video being released, they're actually on sale on Amazon for a steal of a deal. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We have lots of project videos on our channel, so make sure to check those out, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.